Namaste guys, so I hope you all doing great. So in this video, we are going to talk about impellers. So first question is your mind, what is an impeller? So if you guys know about centrifugal pump, so these are the things that basically install and can increase your efficiency as per the requirement. So basically I'm going to uh, talk about different kind of impeller. What are their applications when they are used and what are their disadvantages? So let's talk about one by one. So the first one that you can see is called open impeller. Okay. So a question is uh, what is special about open impeller and where to use it and what is the disadvantage? So as you can see that it is quite open and it's surrounding with that it doesn't have any kind of wall here. As you can see in these two cases, in these two they have walls but in this case it doesn't have any kind of walls okay so these kind of pumps are used where workload is low and it can fluid contains abrasive particles abrasive particles means for example dust particles or you know uh, some minute particles like things so in that kind of scenario you use open impellers uh, what are its advantages okay why should i use it uh, the advantages are it is easy to clean, easy to repair, it is faster and can handle suspended solids. For example, if there is, so you know, muddy water comes in, then it can handle it. Okay. Now, uh, the this, what are its disadvantages? So, it is good, no, no doubt, but it's only good for small workload. For example, if you want, you know, high volume capacity. Uh, to workload for that then open impeller is not a good choice for you it has a very low efficiency so not a good choice for you know high power requirements and its net positive suction had reduced due to cavitation effect uh, so cavitation is the effect basically you know bubbles generate and damage the plate so this kind of thing okay uh, I will cover a special video on cavitation at onwards. Now, this is the, you know, open impeller. Now, this is called semi-open impeller. So, what is special about semi-open impeller? And this is the most common one that basically you see in industries use. So, let's talk about one by one. So, in semi-open impeller, there is something called wall here and this is single wall. In here this is close impeller as you can see it has two walls and in semi-open there is only one wall at the bottom okay so what is advantage of semi-open impeller so it can be used for dirty abrasive particles and it has high strength as compared to open impeller okay and better efficiency as compared to open impeller uh, but it has some issues. For example, uh, it has low efficiency as compared to close impeller. So it has low efficiency to this impeller. Okay, close impeller is this one. And clearance of veins, you know, basically you will face issues. Uh, for example, more stucking and cleaning it is not that going to be easy as compared to this one. So it is basically used where you have, you know, good power requirement and there are small abrasive particles so if you are for example you have bigger abrasive particles then open impeller is best choice but if you have you know abrasive particle is small then you will go then you can go with this one okay and the last one is close impeller so what's special about close impeller and when to use what to use so close impeller has the highest efficiency but 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 it comes with the drawback it can only be used or most commonly used with clean liquid for example if you are going to use muddy water or abrasive particles then it will damage it very badly so it is not recommend plus the main issues that it has it is you know very difficult to clean okay and it can give constant efficiency during work uh, during work okay and 
provide more net positive suction head as compared to these two okay and there is a one major fault flaw in this that it is um, basically you know prone to clogging so for example uh, you for, for example you don't know and somehow dirt particles come in so there is probability that it will clog this so not a good thing and it's very expensive in manufacturing as well so this is the most expensive to make less expensive and the you know most cheaper one okay so if you go this side it is the most cheapest and this is the most expensive because of the uh, uh, design complexity and it is not suitable for the aggressive fluid particles okay and if you want to guys learn about more about it you can check out my blog link in description i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day and make sure to like subscribe and share this channel namaste